This is the Comica Boomix U1. It's a broadcast level multifunctional UHF wireless microphone kit. Inside the box, you have yourself the receiver, the transmitter, and I'll cover these more in a second. TRS to TRS cable, TRS to TRRS for your smartphones. You also have an XLR to 3.5 millimeter cable for audio recorders, which I think is a great touch. You have yourself the USB-C charging cable, a wind muff, the user guide, lavalier mic. There's a dual zipped carry case here with a nice Comica handle at the top. You've got your section here for your microphones and you have a second section here to put all of your cables. So let's go ahead and look at the transmitter and receiver in more detail. So let's start off with the transmitter. At the top, you can see that there's a power button. Underneath you have the mute button. There's a couple of LED indicator lights there. Each of these has a twistable antenna as you can see, so you can point it at each other to get a longer field of range. On the right hand side, you have the USB-C port. This is 600 milliamp hour battery, so it gives you around six hours of working time. There's an inbuilt microphone there at the top. There's also a mic port for the lavalier mic. You also have a infrared sensor here on the right hand side. This is what you can use to pair both of the transmitter and the receiver to each other. If you have any problems, you also have a reset pin there. At the back, you have a belt clip which can double up as a cold shoe mount. With the receiver, you actually have two antennas here. So it gives you a stronger signal and more clarity in picking up wireless transmission of the audio at longer distances. You also have the power button, the menu up and down buttons here. And on the left hand side, you have the settings button there. The key thing to note is that this has a TFT display, which I'll run through in a second, which you can use to monitor and change the settings. On the top, you have the headphone port for real-time audio monitoring. You have the infrared port there to connect with the transmitter. Then you also have the output port there to connect the TRS cable to your camera. At the back, you also have the same clip. On the right-hand side, if you lift this antenna out the way, this is where the USB-C port is and the reset pin. On the left-hand side, there's nothing there on that side of the antenna. So let's go ahead and turn both of these on, the receiver and the transmitter you'll see there's a purple indicator light on the transmitter so you can see it lights up blue over the a transmitter there so if you have two of these you can get a kit for two transmitters a and b this one only has a single one so it's lit up in a so let's talk a little bit about the tft and what is in this display so this is the default display you'll be able to see the signal strength the battery life and what channel you're on and you can see the audio monitoring here coming directly from the inbuilt microphone of the transmitter there if i hit the menu button on the left here is group A, which is basically this assignment of the transmitter microphone there. You can do automatic pairing on this. You can do automatic pairing for a group B microphone as well. So I'm going to be covering only group A because this is a single microphone unit. I can do manual pairing amongst any of the 16 UHF channels, so I can cycle through that. And then you also have the volume adjustments. So you can adjust the input to the camera from a range from zero all the way up to 15. 15 being the maximum one, so I will leave it around the 10 point and we'll give you the audio tests at volume 10. You also have the output mode, which you can change between mono and stereo. You can actually flip the screen as well. So if I turn this on, I select that and it's facing the other way now. If I select it again, change it, then it goes back to that direction. So this depends on where you want to position this receiver. You can adjust the screen. A lot of the wireless receiver microphones that I've used in the past don't have this functionality. I think that's just a nice touch. You can set the language and this is the firmware version. So that's everything on the TFT display. Let's go ahead and set this up with my Sony a7 III and let's see how it sounds. Now, just to have a comparison, up until now, I've been using this shotgun microphone here. So the audio you're hearing currently is coming from this. I'm now going to switch over and use the Comica microphone. So now the audio is coming directly from the Boom X U1. So you can tell there's a very clear difference, right? So I've got this set to volume 10. I've had a lot of wireless microphones that operate on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency band, except the problem with those ones is that they operate on the same frequency band as Wi-Fi networks. And I have a lot of connected devices around. So I get a lot of interference noise, static noise, background, white noise in those transmissions. The UHF microphones are super clear because it operates on completely different channel frequencies. So that's why I have really clear audio coming from this. So the next thing I want to do is put the lavalier microphone and check the difference between the internal mic here and using the lav mic. So now the lav mic is connected. I've reduced the volume down a little bit because it is closer to my mouth. I've set it to volume four, which is actually quite low, but you guys can hear it's so clear even at that low volume. Now it has a super low sound delay on it, less than 20 milliseconds, which I think is great. 
Now this microphone actually can go up to 394 feet, which is roughly around 120 meters. So what I'm gonna do is go outside and test that range unobstructed and see how clear it sounds at the maximum 120 meter mark. So let's go ahead, step outside and see how it sounds outdoors. All right guys, so I'm outside now. This car park is 120 meters in length. Hopefully the audio comes out very clear right at the back. I'm gonna give you a sound test at the halfway point at the 60 meter mark and right at the back at the 120 meter mark as well. So hopefully you guys can still hear clear audio. I've got the lavalier mic clipped to my jacket. I've got the microphone clipped to my jeans and I have the antenna pointed to the double antenna on the receiver of my Sony a7 III, which is pointing at me. So I have unobstructed clear wireless transmission on audio. So let's go ahead and see how it sounds. Okay guys, I'm here at the 60 meter mark. Hopefully you guys can still hear very clear audio. The antenna is still pointed directly towards you. It's not too windy, so you should be able to still hear me quite clearly. There's a little bit of a breeze, so you might hear that in the background. So let's go ahead, finish off the walk and go right to the boundary line. Okay guys, this is the 120 meter mark. It's picking up, it's a little bit windy, so this is a real test. If you guys can still hear me very clearly, then that's great. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let's come back and finish off this video. So I've just played it back, guys. This is probably one of the clearest microphones I've had to date. It's so easy to connect. One of the things I really like about it is that it comes with so many different options of connectivity. So I can connect it with my cameras, with the TRS cable, connect it to my phone with the TRRS cable, and also have an XLR input as well for my audio recorder. I have the Sound Devices Mix Pre 3 and it would work great with that. One thing I would recommend is that this transmitter is quite bulky, it's not the most compact. So if you wanted to clip something directly onto your shirt, then this is probably not the best way to do it and using the internal microphone. I would always recommend using the lavalier microphone with this specific set because it is gonna give you that freedom of flexibility and movement and it is so much lighter. Overall, I'm super happy with this. It comes in at 175 pounds on Amazon. I've got the link down below, check it out. If you guys really like tech reviews like this and audio reviews with microphones and camera accessories, make sure you hit that subscribe button because I do all things tech and I've got tons of reviews coming out each and every week, which I know you're gonna like. And if you did like this video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.